Hello everyone, this is Miss Danielle and today we are going to read uh, two different versions of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This first one is Goldilocks and the Three Bears and it is adapted by Amanda Askew, illustrated by Bruno Merz and read from QEB Publishing. One day, a little girl called Goldilocks went for a walk in the forest. She came upon a house and knocked on the door. When no one answered, Goldilocks went inside. At the table in the kitchen, there were three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks was hungry. She tasted the porridge in the first bowl. This porridge is too hot, she exclaimed. Then she tasted the porridge in the second bowl. This porridge is too cold, she cried. Finally, she tasted the last bowl of porridge. Ah, this porridge is just right, she said. And with that, she ate it all up. After she'd eaten the porridge, Goldilocks went to the living room where she saw three chairs. She started to feel a little tired. Goldilocks sat in the first chair to rest her feet. This chair is too hard, she exclaimed. Then she sat in the second chair. This chair is too big, she whined. Finally, she tried the last and smallest chair. Ah, this chair is just right, she sighed. Just as she settled down into the chair to rest, it broke into pieces. Goldilocks wanted to lie down, so she decided to try the bedroom. She lay down on the first bed, but it was too hard. Then she lay down on the second bed, but it was too soft. Last, she lay down on the third bed, and it was just right. Goldilocks fell asleep. As she was sleeping, the three bears who lived in the cottage came home. They went into the kitchen, and what did they see? Someone's been eating my porridge, growled Papa Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mama Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge and they've eaten it all up, cried Baby Bear. Next, the three bears went into the living room and what did they see? Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair and they've broken it to pieces, cried Baby Bear. The three bears began to look around and when they got to the bedroom, what did they see? Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still there, cried Baby Bear. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. The bears didn't look very happy. Help, Goldilocks screamed. She jumped up and ran out of the room. Goldilocks ran out the door and into the forest. Never again did she go wandering in the forest near the home of the three bears. And that's the end. Next, we have a version called Goldilocks. Next, we have a version called Goldilocks and the Three Bears, written by Barry Wade, illustrated by Christina Stevenson, and read from Picture Window Books. Once upon a time, there were three bears. One morning, the three bears went for a walk, leaving their porridge to cool. A little girl called Goldilocks was out walking too. Goldilocks went inside the three bears' cottage and found their porridge. Daddy Bear's porridge was much too hot. Mommy Bear's porridge was much too cold. But Baby Bear's porridge was just right, and Goldilocks ate it all up. Goldilocks was full, so she sat down for a rest. Daddy Bear's chair was much too hard. Mommy Bear's chair was much too soft. Baby Bear's chair was just right. But Goldilocks was too big, and the chair broke. Goldilocks went upstairs for a nap. Daddy Bear's bed was much too hard. Mommy Bear's bed was much too soft. But Baby Bear's bed was just right. Goldilocks lay down and fell, fell, fell fast asleep. Soon, the three bears came back from their walk. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Daddy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mommy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, cried Baby Bear, and they've eaten it all up. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Daddy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mommy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Baby Bear, and they've broken it. The three bears went upstairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Daddy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mommy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Baby Bear, and she's still there. Goldilocks woke up, jumped out of bed, and ran away as fast as she could. Oh dear, cried Baby Bear. I didn't want to scare her away. And that's the end. 
Hi everyone, it's Miss Danielle and this is your uh, Story Spoon Craft, super simple to go along with Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You just simply take your spoons, there should be four in each bag that you picked up from the library, color them in with the crayons included in the bag. You'll see that um, I went simple with just three brown bears and Goldilocks with her blonde hair. Um, but there are other colors, you can decorate them however you wish. And I've got a Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Baby Bear, and Goldilocks. And then you can practice telling the story yourselves at home with your story spoons. Thanks, and have a wonderful day.